Hello, this is David Ackenbach, also known as DaVideo7, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use the Play Your Games feature on Vist. And I have it up right here, and as you can see there's two ways you can load your games. You can either load it from your computer or you can load it from an external URL. Um, first I'm going to show you guys how to use it, how to load from your computer. So click over here and you got to make sure to browse to the Downloads folder. From this this folder is the only way you can load the game. So if you download a game to your computer, you got to make sure to put it in this directory um, and make sure it's in your it's in a .zip archive. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that, and then right over here you can pick a system. In this case, I'm gonna pick the NES, and then you can choose any of the available emulators. If you don't pick one, the default emulator will be used. I'm going to go ahead and pick one, and then I'm going to click load game, and then there you go. And as you can see right here, it found the game in the database, so it basically loaded all the information and the chat and everything. And when that happens, um, it'll allow you to load your previous save files, and, and you can also get access to features that you normally would have access to, such as screenshot submitting and high score submissions and all that good stuff. Alright, so I'm going to press back and then I'm going to show you guys how to do it from the URL. Oh, and, and just uh, just so you guys know, um, if you've played a game on Vizd already, most likely it'll already be on your computer in that downloads folder. Alright, so I'm going to paste in the URL here and then this time I'm going to drive MendFN up in and then just load game and there we go. Now I'm going to press back and show you guys how to use MESS. Um, so MESS is a little difficult to use and you got to make sure to specify a system that MESS recognizes and then you got to specify a device type. Um, depending on the game system, the device type will be different. Most game systems it's just cart for cartridge, but sometimes you got to put cart 1 or cart 2. And then computer systems you got to do floppy 1 or floppy 2. For the NES, it's just cart one. I'll show you how that works. Just press load game, and then proof that this is a mess. I press the escape button, and you can see all the mess options. And you can actually use a controller with mess and change your configuration by clicking into these menus. So you don't have to stick with what they have as default. And sometimes they have things assigned to keys that uh, the RGR plugin already has assigned to. Like we have save state and load save state, um, F2 and F4. For some systems within MESS, they, they need those keys, so you gotta actually go in and change those. Alright, I'm gonna go press back again. Um, so yeah, I mean, if there's any game system that this doesn't have, that you know for sure MESS supports, you can load your games within MESS, and I'll have a, a link to, uh, some websites with more information in the description below. Um, that should be it. If you guys have any questions, just be sure to reply to this video. Take care.